are live out here for Field Trip Friday at Luke Air Force Base, and uh, we're going to talk about your weather forecast. We're back outside. Uh, the wind has been blowing again right now officially. Uh, it's about 10 miles an hour, so not too bad, but I think it's a little bit windier out here at Luke Air Force Base in the West Valley. Let's take a look at your forecast as we head toward the weekend. 70 degrees right now. That's the temperature at Sky Harbor, where winds are out of the northeast at 10 miles an hour. Pretty dry behind that cold front, 23% relative humidity. Uh, as we uh, head into your weekend, here's what you can expect. Clearing skies, warming temperatures, lighter winds. Even as we go through today, I think those winds are going to lighten up uh, and ease up across the state. You can see our low. It's moving by to the north of us. That's the storm system that's been pushing through the last couple of days. We've had light snow in the high country, cooler weather in Arizona. That's all on the move, helping to generate some of those severe storms that we're seeing in the Midwest. For Arizona, high pressure builds in behind that, and we're going to start to warm it up pretty quickly. Today, one last day in the 80s, 88 for Phoenix. 85 for Casa Grande and 70 for Prescott. Upper 50s today for Flagstaff and 70 for Payson. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. We've got upper 80s for today, but 90s tomorrow, and then it is triple digits after that. Well, we are out here now, and I've got something really unique to show you. I come from, you know, a firefighting family, but I have never seen a truck like this one, and I am Master Sergeant Renee Garza here with me this morning with the Luke Air Force Base Fire Department. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Introduce me first to your team here. Okay, this is Aaron Johnson right here. We also have uh, Aaron Lucas. We have Sergeant Anderson here as well. Okay, so tell us what you guys do out here. You have kind of a unique setup. Yes, here at Luke Air Force Base, our primary mission is to, um, of course, cover the flight line. So we have all our aircraft, our F-16 and 35s. We respond to those during in-flight emergencies, ground emergencies. That is our priority here is uh, to protect the uh, world's greatest firefighters in the world. And so that's why this truck looks a little bit different because it's got a lot more water in it. There are no hydrants, you said, out there on the on the runway. That is correct. This truck behind me right here has 1,500 gallons. We have another truck in the station that has 3,000 gallons. So we need as much water out there as possible in the event of there is an incident out there. There's no hydrants. Like, they are spread out out there, so it's hard to get a hold of water. Okay. And then, of course, you serve all of those uh, living and working on the base, but also some of those outside the base. Talk about that. That's correct. We are one of the uh, few fire departments in the Air Force to do automatic aid. So anytime there's an alarm going off or a medical or anything, we get pinged because we're the closest, and we'll respond right out there. And we'll work with Glendale and Goodyear and Hand in Hand, and we, tr we train with them as well. We'll go down to grip stick and do training with them. Uh, like I said, we are one of the few in the Air Force that do that. So that's what makes it unique here at Luke. Yeah, so serving the uh, Luke community, but also the West Valley, uh, but also the world, because you said you have been deployed. Current, current, yeah, correct. We do deploy quite often, and we have a team going right now. And so whatever the operation is, we'll be out there, whether it's in uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, Jordan, we'll be out there as teams setting up. Okay, you said a couple uh, uh, stations here on the base. How does your fire station look different, or does it look different uh, than, a, than a regular fire station? I think for the most part, it's the same other than the stalls. Our stalls are pretty big because we have big... Um, crash vehicles that we put in there that carry a lot of water. So there's a lot more room in there, but we same thing. We have bunk rooms, we have kitchens, we have a day room for TV, so we have a weight room, we have all that. Yeah, awesome. mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for your service and for everything you guys do. No problem. Thank Thanks you. Let's we'll get a little sneak peek inside the Luke Air Force uh, Department, uh, Fire Department this morning. It's been really interesting to see everything out here at Luke, and so uh, we'll be right back with more on Field Trip Friday.